Madam Speaker, we are seven days from a debt default that would spell economic catastrophe for hardworking Americans and Virginians. And as you've heard, we are in a hostage-taking situation where MAGA Republicans don't want to negotiate with the hostage. But it's not House Democrats that are being held hostage. As you've heard from my Democratic colleagues, it's the American people. But it's also our state governments. Last week, Senate budget analysts outlined what a default would mean for the Commonwealth of Virginia, which has a very large federal footprint. It would be catastrophic. It would have a devastating impact on state budget, the state budget and funding for school, health care, roads, public safety, broadband, affordable housing. An extended default could cost the Commonwealth nearly 200,000 jobs slash payrolls by 4.7 percent and throw the state economy into a recession, as well as the American economy. A default jeopardizes Medicaid reimbursements to rural hospitals, federal grants awarded in the Commonwealth to over 4, and 4,000 federally funded state employees. The gentlewoman's time's expired. And millions of Virginians who receive Social Security, Medicare, and veterans benefits. It is time to raise the debt ceiling. I yield back.